everyone, thank you so much for continuing the conversation of MMA with me. As you know, this weekend was awesome, jam-packed with amazing, amazing performances. Um, UFC 304 was one of the favorite, my favorite cards I've seen in a long time. Uh, we're going to have Leon Edwards, his response to his loss. Bobby King Green, him responding to his loss. We're also going to be talking about Dana White saying no more $100,000 bonuses. If you're wondering why I'm not doing Tom Aspinall, it's because I already did him in the video I uploaded earlier today. So with that, let's go ahead and get right into it. Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards released a statement on his loss to Bilal Muhammad. Leon posted this to his Instagram today. He wrote, to my fans, I'm sorry I couldn't get the job done this time. I've been through harder times than this in life, and I will rise again. Thanks for all the love and support. I will get this back in blood. Hashtag headshot. And that's going to wrap it up for the... Buzz Brands offers a wide variety of high quality, low cost, and low dose THC options. It's made for the functional person who uses THC, whether it's to enhance life for pain or for mood. They have energy drinks, my personal favorite, gummy shots, and ice creams, guys. Whenever you make a purchase, enter Bear in the Notes. On August 25th, I'll pick two or three of y'all, and we'll send y'all a huge care package of random items from Buzz Brands, guys. That's buckabuzz.com. Enter Bear in the Notes. Let's get back to the show. Okay, guys, so you see that? I mean, he, he's taking it like a real champ, you know what I mean? He's saying, hey, I'm going to come back. I've had adversity. What do y'all think? Do you think Leon Edwards will come back? In my last video, um, I went ahead, and my opinion is he's not fighting for the title next. Dana White's already said that. It was a boring fight. They don't want Leon Edwards to be the champion anymore, just like how they didn't want Sean Strickland. And if you notice that, for champions, the UFC does not want. They don't give him immediate rematches. Think about Israel Adesanya. You know, Conor McGregor, you know, uh, think about, you know, big draws and things like that. Um, if you're not a big draw, you're not going to get that immediate rematch. Also, that fight was not close whatsoever. Yes, Leon, in the last 40 seconds of the fifth round, started smashing Leon when he reversed, got on top, smashed him with some elbows, gashed open his nose. One second left, he turns around, he got his arm, he's about to choke him, and the bell rings. I don't think he was going to submit him because that whole fight was them not being able to submit each other, but always in dangerous positions. They're just both very good on the ground, right? So now, um, let's go over and get into the Bobby King Green. And before we get into that, what I was saying, though, is, yeah, um, Bilal Muhammad is not fighting Leon Edwards next, at least in my opinion. I think he's going to fight someone like, you know, Shavkat, um, Hazmat, or someone like that, a bigger name, a bigger draw. But I don't see uh, them getting a rematch anytime soon. So with that, let's go ahead and go to Bobby Green's response to us. What a day. Thank you guys for checking in on me. I'm okay, I guess. You know, it happens. I feel like I slipped into some shit and it is all went the perfect way. I had a bad night. No excuses. It happens. I live by a cold. Kill or be killed. Today I got killed. Let the ridicule begin. You know, I know what comes with this. You guys can talk your shit. I know what comes with this. Let's go. So y'all heard, so heard that he's saying y'all can talk y'all shit. Um, I was reading the comments and he's getting quite a bit of support. Everyone's like, dude, you know, you just stepping into the octagon, you know, it, that, that's all the respect we need right there. If you've ever stepped in an octagon, um, you know, it's a pretty big deal. I've never done it, but I've stepped in a boxing ring and I'm telling you guys, Stepping in that ring, you know, to going to fight or spar someone, guys, it is it is different. You may think you're able to do it, but when it actually comes to that day, if you've never even sparred or fought, just go to any gym, whether it's boxing, you know, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, whatever it is, just go to any gym, spar, and uh, let me know how you feel, and then do like an amateur fight, and I'm telling you, it takes a different breed to get in there, and I believe that MMA guys are a lot, they have more of a, a savage, like, you know, Roman warrior type DNA um, because, you know, I'm a boxer, dude. I don't like getting hit by MMA gloves. If you've ever been hit by an MMA glove, it doesn't even need to be a hard hit. If you get hit with a boxing glove, boom, you get hit. You you almost don't even, like, feel it. You know, you're still fighting stuff. Like, oh, I, got, I felt something. I one time was sparring with my friends in high school that didn't have any gloves. I'm like, hey, I don't care. You can have the UFC gloves and I'll have the boxing gloves. And my friend popped me in the eye and my whole eye was, like, swollen for three weeks. And uh, he was not that hard of a hitter. So, <laughs> with that, let's go ahead. Let's get into Dana White. Um, I'm going to give Bobby Green all those freaking flowers. You know, terrible performance. Um, I don't know why you were looping your punch instead of just throwing straight shots with your arms down like you normally do. Think about your last fight with Jim Miller, man. Amazing performance. If you were striking like that, 
you would have murked Patty Pimlet. You would have murked him. I believe on Bobby's best day, if he can defend the takedown, ugh, he went for a takedown. It was really fucking weird. If he can defend the takedown, he can knock Patty Pimlet out. It's simple as that. It's just it was not his night. And that happens, man. Some days you're on, some days you're off. But with that, let's go ahead and get into Dana White. No more bonuses. You know, every time you get on a press conference, the fighters manage to get you to up the bonuses. Do you think there's an argument that maybe you should just up them? To I think tonight showed that we should not, no. Oh. Upping them doesn't change anything. It doesn't make anybody fight any harder. It doesn't, it doesn't change anything. I'm not doing this again. Ever. Ever. Today was the last, the last day that I'm doing that. Yeah. I'm not saying that in the future the bonuses couldn't get up, but I'm not going to be at a press conference and say, 200, 300, fucking never again. Never again. So you, you can thank everybody on this card for that. Damn, dude. Yeah. I, I Nobody know. fought any harder. There was no sense of urgency. Holy shit, I want the 100,000. Seven straight. Who gives a fuck? It's uh, fucking 7 o'clock uh, in Vegas. So, whatever. Yeah. Never again. Okay, I love Seven that. straight fucking decisions. Yeah. The 100,000 was, was, was a real big fucking woohoo. Let's get it, boys. <laughs> fuck that shit. Never again. Okay. I love some. Then, then obviously, no, the UFC released a certain person. I don't even want to get into that till the next, uh, till a different video. But yeah, no more increased bonuses. Uh, you know, you, you look at like, uh, man, it, it was kind of boring, man, if you, if you think about it, until the Patty Pimlet. But if you look at it, Bobby Green, I'm talking about the three, you know, most entertaining fights. That's what my channel covers is the top fighters, more so for the general population who doesn't have a lot of friends who are MMA and they just want to talk more about it or hear more content about it. That's what this channel's for, so that's why I'm not covering the whole card or the prelims, guys. So, with Bobby Green, he did not try to get that $100,000, and he's the one who prompted Dana White to increase the uh, the uh, bonus. And it's crazy, he's the one, he didn't come out swinging. I don't think he threw a punch. Uh, Patty said he got hit once, maybe in the stomach, but I didn't even really see him throw a punch. In the beginning, he kind of, you know, whenever like you haven't like boxed or like, you know, you know, fought in a long time, and you kind of, you go to fight and you're like, you, you how do I say it? You're like jittery kind of, and you you look kind of weird at first, and then after like you know 20 seconds and you get hit, and then you kind of get back into it. That's what it looked like. Bobby Green was having. He's having some happy feet going on and just some jitters, and uh, it happens sometimes. I feel like when you don't train like consistently, if that makes sense. I'm not saying that's Bobby Green's thing, but maybe he didn't you know shadow box and stuff like that the day before and the day before that. I don't really know, but it was a lot of pressure fighting Patty Pimlet. It was kind of a make it or break it for his career. As you know, Bobby Green probably is no longer getting a title shot, guys. So this is pretty entertaining. What do you think? Did you think the bonuses did anything? I don't think they did. Also, I want to lay one thing down. The reporter said it's 3 a.m. Guys, think about it like this. We're fighting, you know, UFC's all over the world. Worldwide organization. Think Abu Dhabi, Fight Island, Saudi Arabia, fucking America, fucking UK. All over the world. So whenever you have a fight camp, your team, your coach is going to acclimate the athlete, the fighter, to the time that they fight. Does that make sense? I know the reporter doesn't get that. So if they're fighting at 3 a.m., that means they need to start turning it into, like let's say if Patty has his peak energy at 11 a.m., then you start making him go to sleep earlier, um, you know, cutting his sleep, making him tired so he can fall asleep earlier, and start changing his schedule to where he's up, you know, during the night and asleep during the day. And um, it's a little bit hard to do, but it takes about seven days, but you change your sleep schedule so it's not a fucking deal. So whatever reporter... Why he thinks that's a big deal, it's not, guys. I think I'm going to leave that there, guys. Thank you so much for the support. The channel's kind of blowing up as much as it can be, uh, just for a guy sitting here and talking. Um, on August, or uh, on September 1st, I'm going to send randomly one of my followers a pack of Pro V1 golf balls or some goodies from Buzz Brands, my favorite sponsor. Visit buckabuzz.com, enter Baron in the notes. But with that, guys, I'm leaving it there. I'm out. Peace.